You're still watching C Morning Show. The COVID-19 pandemic has prompted the government to limit all activities. However, the tourism sector is left more or less unaffected. Recently, a couple in Yogyakarta utilized technology and creativity to open a virtual tourism business called Travelism. I love stories about innovation and through this initiative, customers can experience traveling without actually going to various tourist destinations. So let's check out a report from our correspondent Slamet Lestioro in Yogyakarta. Although the COVID-19 pandemic affects the entire world, it doesn't halt global economic activities. Instead, the pandemic has opened new opportunities for a startup company in Yogyakarta, which opened a virtual tourism business. Gilang Ahmad Fauzi and Desi Deria Cempaka Wijaya Murti is a couple who often spends their time working online and they open a virtual tourism business which has run for two years. Their company is called Travel Season and it has garnered customers from various countries around the world including Singapore, Australia, Canada, and the United States. Gilang and Desideria have both studied in Australia and they utilize the Zoom application to cater to their customers. Gilang will often be out in the field, accompanied by local guests who explain to their guests about the area, while his wife, Desideria, works as an online operator. We are trying to offer them a system, we are trying to offer them a service that can also provide through the virtual tourism. So they can enjoy the tour while they're staying at home and um, sitting down on their couch or just lay down um, in, their, uh, in, in their house. Uh, while enjoying the virtual tour. The last one we have uh, is the new project of virtual tour that we have in Indonesia uh, and abroad, which uh, the concept is also still sustainable tourism. Uh, we have collaborated with several uh, LSM or several NGO, non-government organization who have a service for underprivileged uh, students or children to join our virtual tour. In the same time, we also sell the virtual tour for public. Gilang advertises his business on social media. The virtual tour offers caters to clients using two languages. Bahasa is used for local customers, while English is over for international clients. At first, I thought carefully in virtual world be fresh and boring, but I was completely wrong. The tour that accompanied the tour with such fun and making it like a real, real tour. Overall, it was such a great experience. Thank you! Travel season virtual tour was a really great experience for me. I was able to explore other cities that I've never been able to see before, especially in a pandemic like this. And I was able to share my beautiful city as well with people around the world, which has been a great experience. Aside from offering virtual tours to destinations within Indonesia, they also offer international tours made possible by the power of the internet and their connections with guides in several countries across Asia and other parts of the globe. Meanwhile, foreign customers are charged 10 US dollars. The fee is relatively affordable. It ranges from 50 to 75,000 rupiah for local customers. It can even be lower if customers want to take group package deals. Aside from offering ease of access, the virtual tour also comes with many benefits. It is unaffected by weather since it is done virtually. Therefore, customers can enjoy the experience regardless of climate or weather conditions. Moreover, it prevents customers from littering in tourist destinations. It also boosts local economy since the tour hire local guides, which is in line with their concept of sustainable tourism.